So we're gonna get our tofu out. And out in front of me, I have about 300 grams of tofu. Now this tofu is not the one that you use for your stew. It's the tofu that you use for frying purposes. So I took, I removed all the water out in the container. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some kitchen towel and just dab it a little bit, just dab it a little bit to get rid of all the water. Okay, so once the tofu is a little dry, you're gonna get your cooking paper, put it on the bottom, place your tofu there, and just dab it again just in case. Just to be sure. Now, you're going to cut the tofu like that, but do not go all the way, just go halfway. So cut it up to like about, let's say here in depth. So do not cut all the way. And now you're gonna spread some olive oil using the brush. And then you're going to sprinkle some salt and pepper. And then you're going to put this in the air fryer for about 200 degrees or at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. So let's go do that. Close it and put it to 200 and for about 20 minutes. So while the tofu is cooking in the air fryer, let's make the sauce. So we're gonna start off with one tablespoon of minced garlic. There we go. And then two tablespoons of soy sauce. I already had that prepped up. And half a tablespoon of plum extract. And half a tablespoon of sesame oil. Half a tablespoon of chili powder. And we have out here two tablespoons of water. Then we're going to sprinkle some pepper. And some sesame seeds. And the last ingredient, this is for the topping. So I have out here one um, Cheongyang pepper, Cheongyang gochu. This is like a green, small chili pepper, is what I'm going to say. Now just cut it up. our tofu out. Now this just came out from the air fryer and what we're going to do is the sauce that we made, we're going to pour it, all right? Pour it like that. Oh yeah! Nice! 
then sprinkle some of it. Chungyang gochu. Chungyang pepper. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And don't forget to press that like button. And if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please press the subscribe button and the notification button as well. And I will see you all again with another scrumptious dish. Bye!